Hey everyone, hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to another video here on the RC Explained channel. Now in today's video, we're doing another battery test and I got a battery here that several of you have been asking for. The one that's being featured in today's video is the Ovonic and this one in particular is the Ovonic car. It comes in with a capacity spec of 5,200 milliamp hour and we're gonna be taking a look at the C rating which is showing here the labeled spec of 180. 30. That's quite a significant C rating for a battery pack. This also comes with a soft case and an EC5 connector. Now we know that the EC5 is very limiting when it comes to around 95 to 105 amps continuous load. We're going to build all kinds of heat in this connector and that heat is going to travel down the wires and start to heat up the ends of the battery. And I definitely see this when I do enough of these tests and measure the temperature in this general area here on the front end of that pack. So I'm expecting that to happen here as well. And now we're going to go through our standard process, which is looking at the internal resistance, comparing the C ratings, and then diving into performance metrics from our low test. Let's get into that and get started. Let's get the charger now fired up and charging at a rate of 1.5 C. So that's gonna be on this battery pack, we take our 5.2 amp hour pack and we multiply that by the 1.5 and that's how we land at this 7.8 amp mark. We're gonna accelerate this so that we can speed through it here and take a look at our results. Our charger pumps out the internal resistance at the one minute mark. So here we have the first set of cells at 4.7, 4.5, 43 and 43. We're going to do the exact same thing set 7.8 amps on the second channel. So this is now battery pack number 2 and we're going to determine the internal resistance of the, this pack here, pack number two. And I use this test because it really shows the performance of the pack when we take a look at the internal resistance and we compare that to the performance that we get out of a run, you're gonna see that this really corresponds to how good our packs perform. Our second pack, we see the cells at four, six, four, six, four, five, four, two. Now let's take a look and see what that does for our C rating. In order to do that, we jump onto our Patreon calc sheet. You can find a copy of this in the link below. And if you're a member of tier one, tier two, then you'll gain access to this sheet and you can download a copy and use any of the tabs here on the bottom. Today, we're jumping over to the LiPo calc tab. This is what is going to determine the C rating based off of IR only. So we're gonna start off by plugging in the information here, we can see Today we're gonna to be comparing the Ovonic to the Spectrum Smart G2. In this case, they have very similar internal resistance values. You take all eight cells that we measured, we divide that by four, and this is what we get for the Ovonic, 4.46 per cell on average versus our 4.55 ohms, milliohms per cell on average for the spectrum, so very close indeed. Let's now take that 5200 and find out what this Ovonic is doing. So 5200 gets plugged into the first item there and then for the internal resistance, we take our 446 and we determine that this pack has a C rating of 16.4 C. This is really interesting because if you look at the next line below there, it's in blue and it says as the maximum continuous current is going to be 85 amps. We have a load test now coming up that's gonna be over 100 amps on good battery packs. Poor battery packs will see 100 amps or lower than 100 amps. And if this is truly correct, that means we're not going to make it through our load test, in which case we're gonna to have to stop the test due to heat. We're now gonna jump into a comparison of performance between both of these packs, and then we're gonna take a look at the Ovonic graph that we have below. So the first bit of data here shows the capacity. We have 104% capacity compared to the Smart G2. So we win on the Ovonic in terms of capacity. We also have a greater C rating number, 130 versus 120. This actually doesn't mean hardly anything. In fact, it means literally nothing. And then we have the performance metrics and data. This does mean something because when we place this pack under our 105 amp load, this is the results that we get from that pack. So when we look at the Ovonic battery, we're getting 2,903 milliamp hour out of that pack. And then we have for the Smart G2, we get 3,011 milliamp hour out of it. So the Smart G2 wins in this category because it puts out a little bit more milliamp hour. Now, if we take 
take a look at the next item here, and that's the milliamp hour to our 3.50 volt mark. And we get 377 out of the Ovonic versus 338 out of the Smart G2. And then we take a look at our next item here, and it's the time to get to that voltage, 13.7 versus 12.2, which here the Ovonic wins by a rate of 112%. So it's just about 12% better than that spectrum. And then looking at the same data now, to the 3.6 volt mark. So this is a higher voltage, meaning you're probably gonna get lower amounts of time. 63.3 versus 40.8. So now we have more of a substantial difference there in terms of the milliamp hour that we get out of it. And the Ovonic does it for a very small fraction of time. Both these batteries do it in a very, very small fraction of time. You could see that is at 2.4 versus 1.6. You have about 150% more for the Ovonic when comparing it against the Spectrum battery there. And then the voltage that is maintained at the 10 second mark here is 3.54 on the Ovonic, which is a little bit stronger than the Spectrum at 3.50. So you can see that the Ovonic does win in this category as well. Now the energy per cell measured in Wattman is the way I do this is I take every measurement at 0.1 seconds. I take each one of those measurements and add them all up in order to determine what the total amount of energy we get out of this pack is. So here we have it at 600 for the Ovonic and we have it at 620 for the Spectrum. And the last parameter that we have to cover here on our chart is the average cell wattage. Average cell wattage is measured at every 0.1 second interval. I take how much wattage is being put out by the battery pack at that point in time and then I average every single line in the entire duration of a pack. So there's a lot of numbers being crunched. I had to write a formula to do this. And then we get the values here that show what kind of power output is being you know, done for each one of these batteries. We can see that the amount of power being dumped by the Ovonic is 335 watts and the Spectrum is 336.8 watts per cell over the entire duration of that run. So here the Spectrum wins on energy as well as the average cell wattage maintained. Now let's take a look at our graph here. Our graph compares the voltage and the current versus time of the Ovonic 5200-130C battery. So we start off at 4.20 volts or thereabout, and then we load it at that 105 amps or so, and then it drops down in voltage because of that load, and then we get a little bit more stabilization occurring after that 10 second mark, and then you can see it kind of you know, holds steady and true all the way down to this point. This point is above our voltage cutoff. This is not the pack hitting voltage cutoff. What happened here is that it was not able to maintain the 100 amp load. And during this time, you can see the orange there, it was under 100 amps. If 100 amps is this line, we're drawing somewhere closer to around that 95 amp mark. And at 95 amps and two minutes not even gone by yet, this pack couldn't handle it. And that's why it only delivers the 2900 milliamp hour in comparison to the spectrum at 3000. So we had to terminate this because we saw more than 60 degrees Celsius. Our pack was overheating. As soon as it gets around that 58 degrees Celsius, as soon as I see a 58 degrees Celsius reading, the test gets cut. And this is where we end up with the results that we have. Well guys, that does it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.